Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Rotto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Tapestry's plans and ploys. This is the first expansion uh, for Tapestry, which made my top 10 of games last year. It's my second favorite civilization game after Nations. I think it's brilliant. I think it holds up. And um, this new expansion adds 10 new civilizations, all of them just as crazy, far out, asymmetrical, um, and you know, makes you feel like you're playing a completely different game than everybody else almost, um, depending on who you are. And, uh, and it also adds new secret goals, or not secret, but private goals um, that you can go for so you don't, uh, you know, if somebody freezes you out of, you know, major civilization buildings on the main board, you can always work on your own separate. That's kind of nice. It adds a few new tapestry cards, um, which we're fine, but really it's all about the ten new civilizations and we played four of them. We played Aliens and Recyclers. That was the first game we played. And the second game I I was, I want to say Thieves and it's not the water, because water, I think, is like Islanders or something like that. Uh, I don't remember, because it's actually two months ago we played this. I actually could have talked about this in last month's roundup, but I was under embargo. I couldn't actually talk about it till this month. So it's been a while since I played, but both games Jen and I played, we were once again just reminded how much we love love, love tapestry, and all the cool new ideas this brings. It also, I haven't looked at this yet, it comes with a very cool campaign mode for solo play which is interesting. Um, and it, uh, oh, also on the last page of the rulebook, it ratifies the tweaks and adjustments to the starting civilizations in the original tapestry. Because if you remember, in the original tapestry, it says in the rules, hey, bear in mind, we might have to apply some small tweaks to affect balance. Those uh, tweaks are now official. They're all written up in the rulebook for people who don't want to download an FAQ online. So I, I appreciate that that's there too. Yeah. I continue to adore Tapestry, think it's absolutely brilliant, and so no surprise that Flans and Ploys, which is just one of those, hey, here's more. It doesn't fundamentally change the game or, you know, you know, turn it on its head. It just says, here's, if you love it, here's more, so you'll love it even more, and we did. It's our number two. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.